This is World Now on TVC News. Thank you for joining us. We'll begin in West Africa, where the UN stabilization mission in Mali, known as MINUSMA, has announced that their pullout has started from two camps in the tent Kidal region. Anticipating the UN disengagement, the Malian army landed two aircraft at one of the camps. The army said the aircraft came under fire from rebels during the landing. The UN peacekeeper cited the shooting as illustrating the rapid deterioration in security conditions for the lives of hundreds of its soldiers. The MINUSMA has transferred four camps to Malian authorities since August. The UN withdrawal from northern Mali is supposed to end by the 31st of December after 10 years of presence. Camp departures have, however, exacerbated rivalries between armed actors in the region. Still in Africa, but this time with bilateral relations, the governments of Ghana and South Africa have reached a visa waiver agreement to allow citizens of both countries travel visa-free. This was made known in a post made on social networking platform X, where it said both countries have entered into an agreement on a visa waiver regime for holders of ordinary passports. According to the post, the agreement takes effect from the 1st of November. South Africa also reached a similar agreement with Kenya in January. South Africa is Africa's second largest economy after Nigeria. However, the two African giants have no such visa waiver agreement. There is also no indication that such an agreement is in the works between both countries.